Hi, happy Wednesday. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 12th of May, 2021. We're in a beautiful new moon right now in the sign of Taurus. So let's do some manifesting. That's what new moons are for. Plant your seed thoughts. Use the energy of Taurus for its innovation and its hmm, unexpected surprise and delight. We are using Sawyer's Path Tarot for our message today. What's going on in the energy atmosphere? Our first card is, <laughs> look at that. Now there's some manifesting for you, hmm, wouldn't you say? Well, we finished yesterday's reading with this card, so how fitting that we start today's with it. So we are absolutely in a wonderful place to be doing some manifestation or consideration for what it is we would like to develop on our foundation, what we want to expand deeper into. And, you know, being thoughtful, mindful, heart space centered for what it is we're celebrating every day with appreciation. There's the star for you. And there's so much to this card. As I was saying yesterday, it's very much connected to the strength card in tarot, the eight pointed stars the eight stars connecting to uh, number eight in the major arcana. And following the tower, this is coming away from the debris field in courageous vulnerability. And that's something I love about the star, you know, being unapologetic for the self, you being you, you doing you, and showing up authentically as you are. Mm, that's attractive every day. <laughs> All right, let's see what comes with the star. Hmm, our next card is Ace of Pentacles. Look, new moon energy. How beautiful is that? And the divine and cosmic gift. Yeah, of the Ace of Pentacles. This is opportunity being handed to us, a door being held open for us. Just step right through. Now, was it yesterday that we also had the two of wands, you know, the gateway crossing thresholds? If I recall correctly, we did have that. And I feel that, you know, this is such a great continuation right out of that message. It's like, let's turn the page and see exactly what comes next in the journey. What is the next step? Well, here it is. Remain courageously vulnerable. Bring all of your strength to the opportunities before you. Step through those gateways and across those thresholds because therein lies or there beyond lies, uh, you know, some of what we saw with the page of cups yesterday, our answered prayers, our dreams coming true. It's all right there. There's nothing standing between us and that gateway except our own decision to step through it or not. Okay. Next we have, look at that, 10 of cups. Wow. Just, wow. What more do we actually need to say about these three cards on the table? <laughs> this is the foundation we find ourselves on in the Ten of Cups. This is one of the happiest cards in tarot. That is the Ace of Cups, which is bliss, joy, love, on overflow to us, for us, on our foundation, to the power of ten. In the reading, that's the foundation we stand on. There's the brilliant clarity of the sun, the sun being the happiest card in tarot. We do have the courage to be vulnerable enough to say yes to this. We understand that the kind of opportunities that present themselves also offer, woven into them, the opportunity to maintain this foundation and to discover more upon it to create more, to expand more upon this foundation. I was just saying to someone I did a reading for the other day, there's always more. And this person was really celebrating some miraculous uh, life experience. And this is something they had put a whole lot of energetic investment into and for years. And they were, are in a position now to be celebrating the fruits of their labor, and that's what I see here. And I don't mean labor as in, you know, it's been a really hard, hard journey for this person, but we all understand what it is to make the energy investment in self. There are really high highs and there are really low lows. And 
when you are holding something in heart space for a good number of years and you achieve it and you get to celebrate it in the now, I feel that's what this 10 of cups is uh, pointing out to us. Celebrating what is now and understanding that there is always more. And we are at a point of co-creation for more. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Ooh, and our card from the bottom of the deck. This is what's in the unseen. We have. <laughs> oh, the trusty death card. Yeah, why not? Simultaneous endings and beginnings because as we are forever celebrating what is now on this kind of frequency, on this kind of foundation, there's, as I just said, more to come. That means we have to make way for it. So something else has to go. And this is, this is where we stay courageously vulnerable with the star. The act of co-creation is a simultaneous ending and beginning because it is the completion and fulfillment of one or more things for the completion and fulfillment of more stuff, things, experiences, right? Expansions upon this beautiful foundation. So the death card is perfect here in this alignment in the unseen and I also feel because it's from the bottom of the deck of the unseen this is the universe doing some of the work for you the so-called work meaning when witnessing and experiencing and ending in a beginning simultaneously often we speak to how there's a touch of bittersweet on that because we have a fondness for what we've become comfortable with and to usher that off the foundation means that Briefly, temporarily, we may feel uncomfortable. And where this is in, in the unseen, in the reading, I feel that the universe uh, is taking the bittersweet out of it by doing some of this on our behalf. So let's just say the universe multiverse is doing some of the heavy lifting in our journey at this time so that we are in this beautiful frequency of celebrating our Ten of Cups while we simultaneously step through new doorways, new gateways, cross new thresholds, courageously in our vulnerability to create, to make way for more. Yes. All right. Angel answers. This is your opportunity to receive confirmation about something. Ask a question if you have one. Have a fresh message. Our first card is... <laughs> If you believe. Yeah, what do you believe? <laughs> Is what you are believing in alignment with what you hold in heart space? Yeah, good question, right? It's another way of saying it's all up to you. Which is another way of saying <laughs> big happy changes. Because happiness is a choice. Hmm. Oh, this is really interesting. I'm glad to see some cards we haven't seen in a while out of this deck. There's something better. <laughs> if you believe there is, there definitely is. And you're going to go and make that happen. <laughs> you know, that's great confirmation actually to the Ten of Cups here on the table because while we are celebrating this under the beautiful, happy, loving sun and brilliant clarity, we are, as I said, making way for more, which means there is something better. That is not to suggest that we're experiencing something worse. Not at all. It's, it's encouragement to keep going, to not stagnate, to trust the death card, to purify everything for us as we sail to that next new horizon. All right. Next, meditation brings answers, yeah. And you know, meditation is wonderful in stillness and it's also wonderful in motion. So whether this is taking a walk, folding laundry, <laughs> doing dishes, something, anything, that can become meditation and it's in those moments where we sort of go into the repetitive flow that we're able to have those spontaneous downloads. So meditation can serve you. One more.
Remain positive. I love that card. So happy to see that card. Remain positive because there is something better. Keep believing in that. <laughs> Meditate on it even. All right, our affirmation for the day from the Super Attractor deck is, my ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. Hmm, there's a meditation. <laughs> right there, practice the affirmation. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace, love, happiness. Namaste.